The Institute is releasing the first small overlap front crash results for a group of 11 mini cars. We implemented the more challenging small overlap test in 2012, and mini cars are the worst performing group of any we've tested. 10 of the 11 models are in marginal or poor ratings. Only one mini car, the Chevrolet Spark, earns an acceptable rating in the small overlap test because it also earns good ratings in the Institute's four other crashworthiness evaluations, it earns the 2014 Top Safety Pick Award. The starting point for protecting people in any type of crash is to keep the occupant space intact. If the structure holds up well, the space around the occupants is maintained and that allows the seat belts and the airbags to do their job and prevent injuries. A small overlap crash can be devastating because often the main structural elements of the vehicle are bypassed. If the vehicle's not designed for this, that can lead to massive collapse of the occupant compartment and a big reduction in survival space. The performance of the Fiat 500 shows how this type of crash can seriously compromise a vehicle structure. During the crash test, the driver's door ripped off at its hinges and opened. Doors should never open in any type of crash because of the risk of ejection. One of the worst performing vehicles in this group is the Honda Fit. The structure pretty much collapsed around the driver. The steering column moved back and away from the driver. And the driver's head slid off the airbag and struck the instrument panel directly. Intrusion in the footwell would likely lead to injuries to the leg and hip of the driver. Small lightweight vehicles have an inherent safety disadvantage in a crash. Moving up to a larger hybrid model can provide good fuel economy and offer a significant safety boost.